So, all right. <clears throat> that was the solid stack. Uh, you should definitely uh, at least uh, know about these uh, names and uh, something about them. So, uh, let's talk a little bit about the test uh, now. Uh, first of all, you have the final exam to do, and the first opportunity will be on Friday 16th, and the test will be open between 8 and 17. So sometime during this uh, window of opportunity you will, you will do your test, uh, and hopefully you will pass. If you don't pass, you have another chance to do it on the Friday the 23rd. So uh, study some more and you will get a new test and uh, hopefully pass it. And if you don't, well, the last, last opportunity is Thursday the 29th and uh, well, it's the same procedure. Uh, hopefully you won't be needing uh, this uh, opportunity at all. Uh, so that is basically the, uh, the exam opportunities you have to pass the individual exam. And then you do the final grading. It's done uh, using this, this matrix, where you simply plug in your passing grade for the exam, the grade you have worked for for workshop one, two, and three, and you will get a final grade. And this matrix is, of course, not perfect, but uh, um, hopefully there are not any obvious errors in it, at least. So if you pass the exam and go for the passing grade for all the, the um, workshops, you will get an E as uh, the final grade. And of course, if you do it for the highest uh, amount grade, you will get an A. But you can also game something here and do workshop two to the highest grade and workshop one to the highest grade and workshop three to, to just the, the uh, middle grade, so to speak, and get an A, still get an A. So there might, might be opportunities in here to, to uh, optimize your study situation. And also if you go for higher grades in the workshops, the uh, final deadline um, for handing those in is uh, the thir thir 13th. Uh, so my hope is that, uh, well, you, you hand in the final workshop number three also, the final submission this, this, um, this date, and hopefully we'll have a passing grade for both the workshop one and two before that, so uh, grading here will be uh, fast and smooth, I hope. If you miss something, for example, you don't um, do the workshops at all, or you, you don't do one of the workshops, you will have the opportunity to do the Yahtzee game. It is described here. Um, this is quite a large task, and you need to do it in, in its entirety. Uh, and if you opt for this, we, you can contact me and we will uh, decide upon a deadline, more uh, individually based. Um, however, the first few weeks of, of the next study period will be, will be uh, used is the best option, I think, and not let this drag along for far too, too long. So, any questions regarding this uh, examination of the course? You hand in the workshops, you pass the individual exam, you have the passing grade. So, it's not uh, harder than that, actually. Uh, so, if we click to the front page here again, uh, we have the opportunity to, uh, to try out the the testing system. And you get to a page that looks something like this. Um, chances are that it won't show anything here at all, because you need to approve uh, the um, site contents before you can, can do this in, in uh, 
I think both Chrome and Firefox, it's some kind of a shield icon either on this side or on this side. So if I press here, I should be able to uh, disable the protection uh, for this page. So I will do that. No, I pressed the wrong. <laughs> Press back. So I will do that, but I won't show you my password. And after this, you can you can click the link available, and you will um, you will come to this this page, and this is basically the the test portal where you can see the available pe periods, and you can see your results. And well, I haven't done any tests, so I don't see anything right now. And you have also some instructions. You can see that you are logged in as uh, your username and that you are a student. If this is not you. Uh, you should uh, not continue because then you will be doing the test for someone else and that is maybe not a good thing. You will have some information here. Uh, right now we have 16 questions. Uh, that's not certainly the amount that will be on, on the real test. And in this case you have 48 minutes to answer the, the test questions. And this is not uh, also not the real time that will be used on the final te test. It will depend on how many questions I decide upon, really. Uh, don't forget to save your answer before moving on to the next question. You can freely navigate between the questions. And remember that questions are multiple choice and have, can have zero, one, or multiple alternatives uh, as correct. And this is uh, not depending on how the question is formulated, because it's really messy to write questions where you kind of like write that everything can be uh, zero or, or uh, more, it just becomes messy. So think about this when you answer the question, that regardless of how it is written, it can be zero, one, or more alternatives that are correct. And to get the point, you should uh, mark all correct alternatives and none of the incorrect alternatives. When you are satisfied with your answers, you, you hand the test in for automatic correction, and you will have a limit to, to uh, get at least 12 points in this case. And if you answer something that is not correct, you will get the chance to comment it. So after you have handed in your test, you have until the uh, period, the exam period ends to uh, comment on your questions. And that can be, for example, well, I misunderstood this question. I thought it was about this and that. And uh, then I can take a look at it, and I can reward you a bonus point if I, if I think the motivation was good. And after the exam period has ended, you will be able to see the answers and comments and responses that you got. So you will be able to look at your test and see, OK, I, I answered these questions correctly, and these ones were not correct. I, you can see the comments that you wrote, and you can see my reply to your comment. Uh, you will get a random test. So I have a, a database of questions, and you will get uh, some selection of these. Alternatives will also be randomized. So think about this if you do a retest. Even if you recognize the, the question, because you could, could have a chance to get the same question, just don't click. Uh, if you remember the pattern, read the alternatives, because they can be in, in another order. So before you start, you should read this text and understand it. And when you feel ready, you click, uh, you'll just find the exam period that is open. I added this one just now, so you should be able to start this. And there was some kind of error because I probably have an old test. Anyway, we can take a look at the uh, the answers here. 
So I will log in and remove this test uh, so we can take a look at it from, from uh, how it works. So if we I just need to start my remote desktop. desktop seems to not be able to play with me nicely today. Please try again in a few minutes, it's not the answer I want. So, alright. So now we should be able to uh, check it out. So this is how the question interface will look. And as you see, you will have a prompt here that says how much time you have left. Don't be too stressed out by this, but uh, you can see the, the time you have left to answer the questions. And well, read the question. Uh, now the questions are in Swedish and they are from an old test in iterative software development using the same book, so you should be able to answer them. Uh, at least if you, you, you can read Swedish. Um, so basically this question is about what you should do in an iteration if, if it takes uh, some, some part of the, the work takes a lot longer time and you won't be able to fulfill, your, fulfill the goal for the iteration uh, as planned. So should you replan the iteration and, and uh, lengthen the time to the deadline or you should remove some of the uh, planned work? and you should always stick to your deadlines, so you need to remove some work from the iteration and you click save this answer. You should get a small prompt here and if you would like to answer no, nothing, you need to click in and then click out and you can save the change answer. But I know that this one is right, so moving on to the next question. So, uh, what does this mean that the unified process is risk-driven? Well, it means that you're centered on the architecture and you uh, fix high-risk parts first, so save. So, I get a question in the chat. When I try the test now, I can't save my answer. So, I guess you have checked and not unchecked a, a button. doesn't matter what I do. You could try a different type of browser. It is a small kind of JavaScript that does this, so it could also be a, a, something that you could just disable JavaScript and, and uh, try the test without JavaScript. Then the button should not be, be uh, disabled at all. Uh, if you find some problem uh, in this and the idea is 
yes to, to do this. There is a link on this this page to uh, to GitHub where you can post an issue. So please try this out, and well, you can jump between the questions. Oh, this is a state diagram, and that's really messy. So I'm just answering something like this, maybe, and uh, something like this. And basically, it's good to add an answer to every question, because then you will get the chance to, uh, to comment it. If you don't answer a question, well, you won't get the chance to comment it. So it's a good strategy to at least uh, answer all questions. So let's do so. I think we maybe have stumbled upon the same thing. So possibly I will just remove this, this uh, fading of the button. As you see, this system is, well, it's quite old. So um, it does not look that nice. But uh, this one seems to be a little bit strange. Because this is not enabled here for some reason. So I will definitely take a look at that. So anyway, uh, when you feel that you are ready, you hand in your test, and you confirm that, well, I, yes, I would like to hand it in. And uh, well, I only got four scores, so, so I failed here. But I can go to the comments, and I can also go to the start page and, and go to the comments later. So I can take a break and go get a cup of coffee or, or what I w would like to do, and start commenting. And well, it basically works in the same way. You use you supply a comment here, uh, and so on and so forth. And when you feel ready, well, you hand in your comments and you get the final grading. And when the exam period has ended, you can check uh, your test. Questions? So take this for a test drive. I will take a look at this uh, JavaScript uh, problem uh, that seems to happen uh, to, to, to sometimes. Those bugs are great. So uh, hopefully we will be running smoothly this uh, afternoon when the next period ends. But if you find any problems, please report them in, in uh, the GitHub repository that is linked from the page I showed you at first. I could maybe show that page also. I just need to uh, find it. Report issues, problems, and suggestions there. So, no, no issues reported right now. Anyway, please do so or contact me in, in some other way if you have uh, problems. Questions? Nothing? 
already done. Uh, that's it for this uh, lecture. And feel free to suggest topics for next week. If I don't get anything, uh, we will do a repetition on, on um, the first lecture. I think it's on Tuesday. And the other opportunities will be um, questions and answers. And those will be uh, in uh, Connect only, I think. It's no idea to, to have them on, on the campus in the classroom. All right. Have a nice weekend and see you next week. Don't forget to hand in your peer reviews either. Bye bye.